Hey guys, Tilly here from Silanda. I wanted to tell you about a new clever phishing campaign that's targeting businesses like yours and you may come across it. So this is uh, all revolves around an accounts aging report. Now, I know that sounds really accountish. Accounting has got accounting lees in it, but don't worry, I'll clear it up for you. An account aging report simply means a report that shows which customers owe you money. Right, pretty straightforward. And a uh, CFO of a big company would probably be used to sending a report such as this to uh, perhaps the CEO or the president saying, hey, these are our outstanding accounts. Here's what money is owed to us. And unfortunately, hackers have figured out that this is a great target vector. So let me tell you how the uh, phishing campaign and phishing scheme works. So these guys uh, send out a impersonated email out to the uh, CFO requesting an accounts aging report. And if the CFO falls for it or if the accounting person falls for it, then they're gonna send back a report that shows a list of the customers and how much they owe, right? Pretty easy to understand. Now the criminals at this point will go out and contact those customers and they've set up a domain name, a .com, that's very similar to yours. And they say, hey, you need to pay us this amount, and they'll try to impersonate the CFO. Uh, this is how much you owe, and here's the bank account routing number where you need to send the funds. Right, pretty straightforward, and unfortunately a lot of people are falling for it because it's kind of easy to impersonate you know, a CFO, and it's kind of easy to impersonate a, uh, your business online because anyone can slap up a website with a, maybe just a one instead of an L or something like that, very close. And um, you know that can be a real problem. And unfortunately, that money, once it goes, it's gone for good. And it could take weeks or months to figure out that this was an, that was an illegal transaction, something that was not authorized by your customer. So here's my takeaway. Look. It's really easy to put in some additional safeguards into your payment process. And uh, you wanna make sure that you have at least two checks and balances when it comes to these kind of things. So if you are a vendor and uh, you're being asked to pay by, by wire transfer, you know, that could be a, you know, a bit of a uh, red flag, I guess is the right word for it. So look for checks and balances. Uh, can you instead pay everything by check and put it in the mail instead of by paying wire, by wire transfer, especially if you're suspicious? And uh, from the business side, uh, if you are a little bit nervous about uh, sending reports by email, uh, just a quick phone call allows you to verify that the uh, requester is actually valid. So uh, let's just kind of recap real quick for you, take away. Do things by validation by uh, by phone call. So if the CFO is a little bit nervous about sending a report out to the CEO, quick phone call. Hey, did you ask me for this report? Yes, I did. Great, done. Right. Second thing is, uh, if you're a vendor and you're being asked to pay a bill, well, you know what? See if we can send it by mail, uh, or at least call up your uh, supplier, make sure that that is a valid uh, contact request because these guys are really taking advantage of our fragile ecosystem. And we don't wanna damage our business uh, system here and we don't want anything to affect those local jobs that we're trying to create. So anyways, if you have any questions or problems or you come across a scam like this and want us to have a second look, feel free to reach out, we can help. I'm Attila with Silanda. Stay safe and stay healthy out there. Aloha.